J. Cobb, Linden Institute. A star in football, basketball, and golf, Jay was a first-year wide receiver. But his effort on the gridiron was only a prelude to what the 6'6 senior would accomplish on the hardwood. He averaged 24 points, 10.7 rebounds, and 2.7 blocks per game. He was a unanimous pick for Capital Division Player of the Year, VBCA Senior All-Star, and a finalist for the Records Player of the Year Award. I'm Jay Cobb. I'm a senior at Linden Institute, and I play football, basketball, and golf. It's nice to have individual accomplishments, but it's even better to have them with your teammates there supporting you. Uh, me and my teammates are all best friends. We hang out on weekends. We hang out every day at school. What makes Jay a special athlete? Uh, he's extremely committed to his sport. Um, he put in a lot of time in the off season and in the years preparing uh, for his time as, as a varsity athlete. But I think um, one of the things that really makes him special is that he is, he has this toughness about him. Um, and w when times get tough and uh, the situation is dire, he steps up. And there, there's no question about it. He wants the ball, he asks for the ball, and, uh, and he got the ball a lot of times. And, and, the, and I think he didn't have to explain that to anybody. Uh, the players on his team uh, knew the situation and they, they were more than willing to accept their role and, uh, and kind of help Jay lead us. So I don't like talking about myself, but um, when people watch me on the court, I want them to see that I'm a respectable player, that gives a helping hand, helps people up, gets a ball for referees. He battled all season long um, against teams that did everything they could to stop him every single night. And uh, he was able to put up some amazing numbers this year. And uh, it, it, was, it was really fun to watch. Um, and I think one of the things that people don't know about Jay is that he did a lot of the things that he did this year um, injured. Uh, during that streak where he was putting up those double doubles, he did it with a hip pointer, and he wasn't even practicing. Um, I think there were three games in a row, three or four games in a row that he played that we ne he never practiced a single time. Um, and it just kind of shows how tough the kid really is. Colton Hudson. St. Johnsbury Academy. A star quarterback, starting point guard, and standout pitcher, Hudson had a major impact in all three Division I sports seasons. None were greater, however, than on the gridiron. The 5'11 senior set a new standard in the St. Johnsbury Academy football program. Hudson led St. Jay's unbeaten regular season amassing over 3,000 yards of total offense and 26 touchdowns to lead the Hilltoppers to their first appearance in a Division I title game. My name is Colton Hudson. I go to St. John's Rear Academy and I'm a senior this year. I play football, basketball, and baseball. Competing for me is the number one thing. That's the reason why I love playing sports. I hate losing. I mean, it's terrible. Um, so I like to put my hard work in and I'll try anything I can do to win. I don't care what it is. All right, Colton as an athlete, uh, whether it's a football player, basketball player, or baseball player, uh, he's not a great baseball player, great football player, or great basketball player. What he is is a great competitor and very well may be in 25 years of coaching at a variety of different levels, the greatest competitor I've ever been around. Uh, he's the kid who wants to be the quarterback on the two-minute drill. He wants to bring the ball up in the closing seconds of a basketball game, and he wants to be on the mound with the ball in his hands in the bottom of the seventh inning in a close game. Uh, he wants to compete, and, and he can beat you. Offseason is what really makes a team special, and the chemistry. I mean, we spent the whole summer together, the football team did, going into our senior year, and we worked out all the time, played all the time. We, we basically lived together all summer long, and then when we came to the season, it was just we gelled, and... It just made us win a lot of games and it helped us a lot. We figured we were going into the season, we had enough talent to go 5-3, and three, then going 8-0, and zero, and then just going deep into the playoffs and going into that championship game. Even though we lost, I mean, I'll never forget any of it the rest of my life with all those guys. 
Yeah, the greatest thing about uh, coaching a kid like Colton is, is knowing that regardless of the situation, he's going to compete to find a way to be successful. I can remember a couple times almost grabbing at straws to figure out a situation, what to call, and calling something and saying, ah, I don't know if I love that call, and thinking about calling a timeout. The next thing you know, he's hit a 25-yard uh, pass for a touchdown, and he makes me look really good. So uh, the comfort zone in a kid like him is whether it's with his exceptional speed and, and agility and his footwork or the strength of his arm, the decision-making he made, makes, whether he's going to throw the ball or run the ball, uh, ultimately, regardless of what the call is, you got a chance of having success when Colton's the quarterback. Timmy Voigt, White Mountains Regional. Timmy stars in every sport he competes in. The senior tallied 29 goals on the pitch, breaking a Spartan single season record en route to a spot on the Division III All-State second team. In basketball, the Lightning Quick Guard averaged 9.8 points, 4.2 assists, 4.4 rebounds, and 3.6 steals. In the spring, Timmy balances his time between playing tennis and competing in track and field, where he is seeking to defend his high jump and long jump crowns at the upcoming Division III State Championships. I'm Timmy Voigt. I am a senior from White Mountains Regional High School. I uh, participate in soccer, basketball, track, and tennis. I'm honestly glad that I, that I grew up in the North Country and playing sports here because you know, I have that, that experience. I play four sports, so I can get four different, I'm on four different teams. You know, I have four different, I guess, families you could call. And so definitely playing sports here, I think, has prepared me, I mean, for life. Well, I would say the fact that he is able to succeed in a variety of events is, is pretty cool. Um, most, you know, larger schools that we go up against, most of their athletes will specialize. They'll choose one or two events. You know, Timmy, we've asked him to do a multitude of events so the idea was he um, would uh, he would um, qualify the state meet as many events as he could and he's been able to do that in high jump long jump triple jump both hurdles relays the open two open four and the fact that he's able to do that um, is quite impressive and he's not only is he qualified but he is ranked fairly high at all of those events across the board I would say my most memorable sports moment is um, this year this soccer season uh, playing a playoff quarterfinal against Guilford in soccer. Um, I scored the, the 29th goal of my season, which broke the school record for goals in a season. Uh, I honestly don't remember much from that moment. My adrenaline was through the roof. All I remember is every time I scored a goal, I would look back at my goalkeeper and I would run to him. And the only thing I remember is him jumping on me and hugging me. And uh, at that moment, I, I knew that I had done something that was definitely worth remembering, and I, that feeling was incredible. Uh, one particular moment with Timmy that stands out is, you know, last year um, he and another athlete, Derek Roy, um, are both our two best high jumpers, and they're both kind of neck and neck every meet. They were kind of pushing each other, and our school record had been six one prior to that, and it was awesome last year that they both got six two. They tied our school record, and although they push each other, and although they're clearly competing with each other. At the end of the day, they're still friends, they're still helping each other out, which is pretty awesome. And the fact that, you know, they're both able to do that, I think, is a real good testimony to their, uh, their uh, maturity and sophistication and just the athletes that you want, uh, you know, high school athletes. So.